So here's a problem where you have a parachutist bailing out of a plane and he drops 50 meters. So let, let's put a number line so we get a perspective of things. So he bails out over here and let us say his initial position is y naught and his initial velocity is v naught which you know would be zero. Then 50 meters down he his parachute opens, so his new position is y naught minus 50 meters and his velocity is let's say v dash over here and then finally hits the ground, here's your ground and let's say this is uh, 0 meters. He hits with a velocity which is known to us, so let's call this v only and this is 3 meters per second. So, so let's first find the time of his journey in this time interval. That's before his parachute opens. Let, let's find t1 over here. And the equation we'll use is y minus y naught is equal to v naught t minus half g t squared. And here final y is this y is equal to this is our final y in this lap of the uh, fall of the parachutist and therefore we substitute y with y naught minus 50 meters y naught minus 50 meters because this mark on the y axis is y naught minus 50 meters minus y naught is equal to initial velocity 0 minus half into 9.8 meters per second squared into t squared. And what you get on the left hand side is minus 50 meters because y naught cancels equals minus half into 9.8 meters per second squared times t squared. And this gives t is equal to 3.2 seconds. Now, what you would note is that I have been very systematic in taking this, uh, th this left side of the equation. Uh, but as you get more practiced, you could have directly substituted this instead of going through this step. Because the displacement, net, net displacement between these two positions is minus 50 meters only. It's in the downward direction, so it's minus 50 meters. Uh, so as you get more practiced, you can start directly plugging in numbers. So let's try to find the uh, time taken uh, during the next part of the journey. And let's call this as time T2 till he hits the ground and uh, after his parachute opens. So before we do that, let's let's try to find what is the velocity of the parachutist just before his parachute opens. So we'll use the formula v dash is equal to initial velocity minus g into t. Final velocity here is what we're trying to find is equal to initial velocity is 0 and minus 9.8 meters per second square into we know the time of fall is 3.2 seconds and this gives v dash is equal to minus 31 meters per second since he's falling in the downward direction the sign is negative now what we can do is we can find the time for the balance fall so we know that v dash now is equal to minus 31 meters per second right here and Therefore, we use a formula, final velocity when he hits the ground is equal to the initial velocity v dash plus a into t. Now, I am taking a because the acceleration has changed. It is no more g because the parachute has opened and we know that a is 2 meters per second squared and vg is also known to us which is 3 meters per second. And we know v dash is minus 31 meters per second. And acceleration here is plus 2 meters 
per second square and into t that's what you have to find and why we've taken acceleration is plus two when the parachute starts decelerating there is definitely some force acting in the upward direction there's some force acting in the upward direction to make it decelerate and therefore the acceleration is also in the upward direction and therefore we take a positive sign over here positive sign so again you see despite the deceleration the way we have set up the signs for various vector quantities you end up getting a positive value for deceleration so it again kind of validates the point that deceleration does not mean a negative sign only so when you solve for t what you get is t is equal to 14 seconds and therefore the total time taken is t is equal to 3.2 seconds plus 14 seconds which equals 17.2 seconds the second part of the problem is at what height does the fall begin so they're basically asking us to find this total distance from the point he dropped off to the point he hit the ground so we know that the initial first part of his journey is minus 50 meters or let's say in value absolute terms it's 50 meters and we therefore have to find this distance so we'll use the equation uh, final velocity square that is v square is equal to v dash square plus 2a into the displacement let's call this delta y let's call this as delta y and what you get is you could have very well taken this delta y as final position which is zero meters minus the initial position which we call y naught minus 50 meters and we substitute v square is three meters per second square we know when it hits the ground and initial velocity we've calculated is minus 31 meters per second square plus 2a we know is 2 meters per, per second square and we have delta y is what we have to calculate so when you do this what you get is delta y is equal to minus 238 meters and negative sign uh, basically converts that the displacement is in the downward direction so the total distance is therefore let's call the total distance as y capital y is equal to 50 meters first part plus the second part which is 238 meters and this is equal to 288 meters now let's see if we were to solve this problem using the, the earlier approach which is this this approach and what you would have got is uh, and let's substitute the values directly 3 square is equal to 31 square plus 2 into acceleration and you would have put instead of delta y you would have put 0 meters minus y naught minus 50 meters and this would have simplified to minus 952 on the left hand side divided by 4 is equal to 50 minus y naught y naught would therefore equal to 288 meters so you see you get the answer directly over here so both the ways are correct uh, you can choose what suits you